In today's video, I'm going to be doing a huge Shein Daisy try-on haul. So I thought it would be great to try them on and give you guys my first impressions. For size reference, I am an extra small and I'm 5'2", weighing about a hundred and like six to seven pounds right now um so yeah just keep that in mind as i'm trying these on if you guys uh do happen to be interested in any of these pieces and i'll be linking every single one of them down below by the way this video is not sponsored um i am a shein partner i do have a discount code but they are not compensating me they are not even aware that i'm making this video for those who aren't familiar with daisy it's one of shein's many labels or lines. I really love Daisy's overall aesthetic. So I'm just going to be talking through as I try on these items to show you guys each piece. Most of these pieces are neutral colored. As you can see in my wardrobe, I only really have neutral colored items. So I thought it would just make more sense to pick items that matched the color palette of my wardrobe. I did take a quick sneak peek of the items as I was opening them. And I'm just gonna say right off the bat, I was pretty surprised with the quality of these clothes. Like everyone knows that with Shein, you get what you pay for. So, you know, if an item is like $20 or under, it's probably not going to be the best quality, but I'm going to be completely honest. And as I was kind of like feeling the material and inspecting them before trying them on, the material itself impressed me. So I picked this set. It's like this cropped cream colored turtleneck and it is very thick. Like I thought it was gonna be flimsy and thin <laughs> like most of their knitwear, um, but it's a very thick and I was surprised that this neck part is very long but yeah i was pleasantly surprised with that and the skirt that came with it usually a lot of their items are very like unstructured and again like i mentioned you get what you pay for so i'm not surprised that some of their items are like that but this surprisingly impressed me as well as you can see it actually has shape to it and just like the turtleneck it is very thick so i'm very excited to try this on you guys there's like no tags inside so i don't even know if i'm putting it on the right way but yeah okay so this is how it looks a quick 360 here so first impressions i love the material so overall this area and the skirt doesn't feel itchy on my skin but the turtleneck kind of does um it's very very thick i'm just gonna come closer and show you guys like it is so thick so yeah it feels pretty like itchy like i'm scratching my neck right now however i do really like it it's very cute and it does fit me pretty well and this is like an extra small i believe and what i really like about the set is that you can use these two separate pieces with various outfits just by looking at this i can instantly think of like five other outfits that i can pair the turtleneck as well as a skirt with so that's a bonus um and guys if i'm looking over here there's just a mirror there that's why i'm like constantly looking over in that direction i think pairing it with like boots like these or even boots, I have like these boots. This actually matches perfectly with it. Another dressy option for like slightly warmer weather would be like beige loafers. And if you wanna be super casual, wearing these sneakers would also match. So the key is like, I think anything that's like neutral colored or beige would look really well with this set. And I think I can overlook the slight itchiness of the neck part. Now that I'm wearing it uh, during a longer period, it's not that bad. The pros of this set outweighs this one con, so I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I do think that some of the other Daisy items that were sent to me uh, will actually work really well with this outfit. Since all the pieces are pretty much neutral colored, I think a lot of them will complement really well with this outfit, so I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, for example, I chose this knit cardigan and it's like slightly cropped and when I saw this piece on the website I immediately thought wow actually looks expensive but in the back of my mind I thought it was going to be one of those things where it's like expectations versus reality with Shein again. I honestly thought that the quality of this cardigan wasn't going to be great but i was pleasantly surprised this is a very thick cardigan and as you can see the detailing here like the buttons don't feel cheap like they don't feel loose or flimsy like it's actually 
sewed in really nicely. Um, and I think this would actually look perfect with this outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. As I'm unbuttoning this cardigan, as suspected, the buttons do not feel flimsy or loose, cheap. So that's a very, whoops, sorry, that's a very good sign. So here is how it looks on me. Um, I love it. I'm surprised that it even looks really good with this outfit too. I also want to quickly point out that so far there is no loose threading or stitching with the knitwear so far. So that's a really good sign. I love the buttons as well as the outline detailing. And as mentioned, I really like the material. It's sturdy and thick, does not feel cheap. So I give this cardigan a thumbs up to. So the next few pieces I'm going to showcase are all pretty similar colors. Um, they're also like in this light beige kind of like cream color. So um, I'm actually going to wear one of these three pants over here. Probably, let's go with this one, just because I think this will contrast well with the next few pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. These pants are actually from Aritzia. I believe it's the carrot pant. Okay, so I'm gonna try on another knitwear item. It's like an oversized cable knit sweater. This is what it looks like. You can see the detail here. And first impressions of the way it feels, it's just slightly softer than the last two items. And so far, I don't see any loose threading either. I think the true test would be like how these pieces will hold up in the wash. Um, so that's a different story. But yeah, keep in mind that this is just my first impressions. But for now, we're just gonna be trying them on. So this is also the smallest size that I got. I think it's an extra small. Um, it's supposed to be oversized, which is why I chose it. Um, so this is what it looks like when it's like untucked. And I don't think it looks bad. I think for all the short girls out there um, like me, I think tucking in uh, shirts is the best way to go about with like oversized looking sweaters. So that way it doesn't look like the shirt's eating you. Um, so I'm gonna quickly tuck it in. If you guys are keeping up with like my gym vlogs, I am doing a slow bulk right now and I'm just noticing that I'm not fitting in a lot of my old pants. So I'm just having a quite a hard time zipping this up. Just give me a sec. So this is what it looks like tucked. In my opinion, I think this looks way better. And to enhance it even further, I actually recommend wearing like a belt. Um, I'm gonna quickly grab it. So another piece that I picked from their line is this lightweight knit shawl. I'm just gonna give you guys a close up of this knit. Um, I've been obsessed with these type of accessories. This accessory is not for everyone. I'm not really into like the preppy minimalist style. Probably won't like it. So to achieve the look of this trend, you technically can just use any like long sleeve knitted sweater um, and just like throw it over your shoulder like this. You can either like leave it like this or you can tie it like so. It gives it a more mature look, in my opinion. It's like I'm about to go golfing or something, or like, I don't know, um, or about to go for like a fancy brunch or something. But the one thing that I don't like about this is actually the tag. Even if I cut it, like a part of it will, will show. Um, so that's the only negative feedback I have with this, but overall, I love the way it looks. And I'll show you guys more outfits with this shawl. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I think it works pretty well with this outfit. Um, and even like, if I take off the belt, just because if you don't really want any black showing with this outfit, I think it'll be fine without it. Like without the belt, it gives it a more relaxed, casual look. And to make it even more casual, you can literally just untuck it. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys like different 
ways to wear it. Like whatever fits your body type the best, right? Um, but yeah, I just think tucking it in works well for short girls like me. So next up, I have this lighter weight sweater. So it's another cream colored shirt, but it's different because of how light it is. And first impressions when I feel it, it's like not too rough, but not that soft. You know what I mean? It's kind of like in the middle. There's also no loose threading or stitching, I don't think. But yeah, I'm gonna try this on next. So this is what it looks like untucked. Um, again, it's supposed to be oversized and I got this in the small size that they had, which is probably extra small. This actually can work on short girls um, if you wear it with like leggings or something like that. Like if you're going for like a really super casual look um, and you're like on the go or something running errands, I think throwing this over like black leggings or gray leggings would actually look really cute. And then I like how it's like a, it could be like off the shoulder. So it, that look would look really nice. But since I'm wearing these more like structured trousers, I'm going to tuck it in. Okay, I'm in love with the shirt. Um, after tucking it in and kind of like playing around with the neck hole, I love it. I love how the material falls and drapes over like this. Um, it's very, very lightweight. It's so comfortable actually. Like I honestly thought it was gonna feel a little rough, but it feels just fine. And I think it looks perfect with these type of pants, um, especially tucked. And again, if you wanna dress it up, I recommend wearing a belt. Like that black belt that I wore earlier uh, would look really nice with this. And just for fun, I'm gonna try on that shawl again just to show you guys. Like, I don't know, I think this looks really cute. You can just leave it either open like this, or you can tie it. I personally really like the layered look. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I am gonna be wearing this shirt a lot. Um, I actually really love it. I have these two knitted vests. They look pretty similar, but they're different, I promise. Um, one of them is this khaki colored um, lightweight knit vest and it's slightly oversized on purpose, but this is still like an extra small. This is also a vest but it is thicker, like slightly thicker. And it's a little more structured and it's like a high neck top. And I got this specifically because of the neck part. I don't think I have any sweater vests that are like this, so I decided to try it out. Let's start off with this one. And I think I'm going to wear those two knit vests with this turtleneck. It's like a cream colored one from Aritzia. I believe it's called the only turtleneck. I featured this in previous videos and I think it just goes really well with the color of the vests. So this is what the vest looks like when it's not tucked in. You know what? I think, hmm, I actually think I'm going to switch these pants with another Aritzia one. I'm gonna try it with a cropped agency pant um, just because the color of it is lighter and I think it'll look nicer with this, so just give me a sec. Okay, so in my opinion, I think this looks a lot better with the vest, but yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like. As mentioned earlier, tucking it in will also look really nice. I forgot to give my rating for the last few items, um, but I think it's pretty obvious given my reactions. I give all those items a thumbs up, especially the lightweight sweater. The thicker cable knit one is also nice, but I definitely prefer the lighter weight sweater. But anyways, this sweater vest, I do like that it's lightweight. However, um, it is wrinkling quite a bit. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it well on the camera, but it, it is. So I'm not a really huge fan of that. This one was actually really cheap though, so I think that makes sense. Again, you get what you pay for, but it's still really nice. It's super soft, actually. I think it's the softest one that I felt so far. I'll give the sweater like a mid thumb up. Um, so I, I wouldn't say it's like a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I think it's like in the middle. Like the last look, I'm going to try it on with the shawl. I do give this shawl a thumbs up as well, especially for the price. I think this shawl works perfectly with this outfit and the vest. As you guys can tell, I'm 
obsessed with this shawl. So this is the other vest that I'm going to try on next. It's a thicker material, has a higher neckline, and it is supposed to be oversized as well. Okay, there's no tag on this, but I believe this is also the small size that I got, so probably an extra small. Okay, so this is what it looks like on me. I don't know how to feel about it. I do think the material is slightly higher quality than the other lightweight vest, but I honestly think it just looks very boxy on me. I think in terms of like the quality of it, I give it a thumbs up, but on me, I'm going to give it a thumbs down. Like it kind of just looks like a poncho on me so and i think the reason why it looks extra boxy on me is because i have broader shoulders for those who don't have uh broader shoulders i think this top would look really nice on you guys just not on me but objectively i do think that the piece um, alone is nice. I'm a huge fan of the color and the material as well. So this is the next piece. This piece is a cropped lightweight cardigan and it's supposed to be see-through and it does feel a little rough but I think that's expected with this type of material and this is a size small. Um, this is the smallest one they had. First impressions does feel comfortable. It doesn't feel as rough against the skin as I thought it would be. But in terms of like the style of it, I don't know if I'm a fan of it. I think if I had uh, time to play around with like the strings, I think I could make it look better. But I don't know, I'm not like a huge fan of, of the style, but I do think that the material and everything else is fine. So I give this one also like a mid, mid thumb. Because <laughs> you know, style is, subjective and some of you might actually like the way this looks right material is pretty good and i don't think this costs too much either okay so there's just one more item left and this is probably the only non beige colored knit that i chose and it's this cropped gray sweater so this caught my eye because i like the structure of it it looks like this sweater is going to be shedding quite a bit if you guys don't mind that it's not like a total deal breaker obviously i think i actually sized up on this so i think the smallest um that they offer is extra small but i chose a small because i purposely wanted it to be baggier and just by looking at it i think it'll look cute with like a white dress shirt underneath so i'm gonna do that and maybe pair it with either these gray trousers or my white culottes. Okay, first impressions, it's very thick and very stretchy. Like I think this is like the stretchiest knit shirt that I have, especially in comparison to the other Daisy knitwear that I showed you guys. But yeah, I actually really like it. If you guys don't mind like the shedding, like it's not shedding right now at the moment, but I just know that it's gonna start shedding um, the more you wear it. I like the fit of it. It's super comfortable and against the skin, it doesn't feel itchy as well. But I will say that it doesn't feel super soft. Um, like in comparison to like the cable knit sweater and the other lightweight knit long sleeve. And this would look really cute with mini skirts, some culottes. Like I have these white culottes that I think would look really good with this. And instead of layering it with the white dress top, I think wearing it with like a cream colored or black turtleneck would look really nice too. So there's many ways to style this one sweater. I believe that is everything. I believe there's one more daisy item, but I decided to focus this video on the knitwear since the other piece is a denim bottom. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And if any of you are interested in buying these pieces, I am going to link the SKU number down below so you guys can search it and see for yourself as well as my discount code. Let me know in the comments which pieces are your favorites and don't forget to subscribe for more content.